Hello friends, this is Poonam. In my earlier video, I have explained data transfer group of instruction from instruction set of 8051. Today, we are going to learn arithmetic group of instruction from 8051 instruction set. So, we will see them in detail one by one. So, arithmetic instruction group contains total 9 instructions. These 9 instructions are listed over here. We will see all the instruction one by one. First one is add a comma src. So, this add uh, instruction is for addition. This will add the byte variable indicated in the instruction to the accumulator and the result is stored in the accumulator itself. So, you can write the operation as a is equal to a plus the source byte that is nothing but rn. So, we will see four combinations of the same instruction. First one is add a comma rn. What this instruction will do? This instruction will add the byte in the register rn of the selected register bank with the byte in the accumulator and the result will be stored in accumulator. I have written the example of the same instruction as add a comma r5. So, suppose a is holding value 42h and r5 is having value 91h. So, what this instruction will do? This will add 42h with 91h and the result say suppose is d3 h that d3 h will be stored in accumulator so earlier a was holding value 42 h r5 was holding value 91 h and after the execution a will hold the value d3 h now d3 h is nothing but the addition of 42 h plus 91 h the next combination we will see add a comma direct example i have written add a comma 20 h so what this will do the instruction will add the contents of memory to location whose direct address is specified in the instruction with the accumulator contents. The result of the addition will be stored in the accumulator. We will see the example add a comma 20 h. So, uh, say suppose uh, 20 h is the memory location. At 20 h there is value 45 h. So, that 45 h will be added to the accumulator accumulator is holding value bch so if accumulator is holding value bch and at 20h there is value 45h so that bch will be added to 45h which will result into bch and now a will hold the value bch now we will see the third combination add a comma at the rate ri what this particular instruction will do? This instruction will add the contents of memory location whose address is pointed by register RI of the selected register bank with the contents of accumulator and the result will be stored in accumulator itself. So, I have written the example of it add a comma at the rate R0. Now, at the rate R0 means R0 is some location, R0 is say some suppose value. Add that value, whatever contents are there, those contents will be added to the accumulator and the result will be stored in the accumulator itself. Last one is add a comma hash data. Here, the immediate direct value is given. So, example I have written add a comma hash 10h. Now, say suppose if a is 29h, to that 29h direct 10h is added so it becomes 39h and that 39h is stored in accumulator and here auxiliary carry carry and overflow flag will be cleared after the execution of instruction so this was the first instruction we will see the next instruction from the same group that is add c a comma source byte now add c mean uh, add c means add with carry this will add the byte variable indicated with the carry flag and the accumulator content and the result is stored in accumulator. So, simply the operation is like a is equal to a plus a is equal to a plus source byte plus carry flag. Uh, now, we will see all four combinations of the same instruction. First one is add c a comma rn. Example, I have written add c a comma r5. What this particular uh, instruction will do, I will directly uh, explain you the example. This instruction add c a comma r5 will add the contents of accumulator with the contents of register r5 of the selected register bank and carry flag and the result is stored in a. Second one is add c a comma direct. I uh, will take the example of it add c a comma 10h. The instruction add C 
a comma 10h will add the contents of accumulator with the memory location whose address is 10h and the carry flag it means at 10h there are some contents stored so those contents plus contents of a plus carry flag and the addition will be stored in accumulator the third combination is add c a comma at the rate ri example i have written as add c a comma at the rate r5 this instruction add c a comma at the rate r5 will add the contents of a plus memory location whose address is r5 plus carry flag and the result is stored in accumulator last one is add c a comma hash data the immediate value is given say so suppose the value is 40h and a is initially say 50h so after execution of this instruction a will hold what 40h plus 50h plus carry flag 1 so in total 91h so after the execution of the instruction a will hold the value 91h so this was the second instruction let's move to the third instruction that is inc byte inc means increment this particular instruction will increment uh, the variable which is there in the instruction by 1 if the byte value is fFh and if it is incremented then the result will overflow to 00h means if the byte value is fFh and inc ffh is written then ffh will be incremented by 1 and it will become 00h we will see three combinations of the same instruction inc rn that is inc r5 what this particular instruction will do say suppose r5 is having value 0 eh so that 0 eh is incremented by 1 and it will become 0 fh so r5 which was initially 0 eh will become now 0 fh after adding 1 to it now next inc direct the example of it is written as inc 40h what this will do suppose uh, inc 40h is written 40h is the memory location at that location there is some value say suppose 22h at 40h there is value 22h so that 22h will be incremented by 1 so it will become 23h now 40h will be holding value 23 H which was incremented by 1. Third combination is INC at the rate RI. So example I have written INC at the rate R1. Now here say suppose R1 is holding value 45H. So at 45H, so 45H is the location. At the rate 45H means at 45H there is some value which is 56H say suppose. So that 56H is incremented by 1 and it becomes 57H and now if it is incremented by 1, 45H will hold the value 57H. So, this was the third instruction. Let's move to the next instruction that is INC DPTR. DPTR is nothing but data pointer. What this will do? This will increment DPTR pointer by 1. So, the instruction which we can write is INC DPTR. So, DPTR is 16 bit. Uh, it is having 16 bit value. So, DPL is lower byte of the dptr and dph is higher order bit byte of the dptr so if we will consider dpl is equal to fh and dph is equal to 15h and if i am writing inc dptr it will increment both the values by 1 so dph will become 15 which was initially 15h it will become 16h because it is incremented by 1 but dpl which was earlier ffh after incrementing it by 1 it will become 00h as i have already explained we will move to the next instruction that is dec by dec means decrement this will decrement the indicated variable byte by 1 so the value if if the byte variable value is 00h and if it is decremented by 1 then it will underflow to ffh remember this so again there are three combinations of the same uh, the first combination is dec rn what this will do uh, this will decrement the value of r5 by 1 so say suppose if r5 is equal to 0 eh and dec r5 means that 0 eh will be decremented by 1 and r5 will now hold 0 dh now the next one is dec direct i have written the example as dec 55h now say suppose 55h is the location at 55h there is value 14h 
that 14H is decremented by 1, so it becomes 13H. Now, the location 55H will hold the value now 13H. Next combination is DC at the rate RI. Example, I have written DC at the rate R0. Now, in this case, say suppose consider R0 is 51H. So, 51H is the location at 51H location. There is value called 1AH. Now, if 1AH is, is decremented by 1, then it will become 19H. So, this was the fifth type of instruction. We will move to the next that is mul AB. Mul means nothing but multiply. The instruction multiplies 8-bit unsigned integer in the accumulator with the integer which is there in B register. But after multiplying these two, whatever product is there, lower order byte of the product, which is product is of 16 bits. So, lower order byte is kept in accumulator and the higher order byte is kept in B register. We will consider example of it. Say, suppose accumulator is having value 50H and B register is holding value A0H. If I will multiply the contents of accumulator with the contents of B register, means 50H with the a0h the answer is 3200h now in this case i have already told you that lower order byte will be stored in accumulator so uh, lower order byte of 3200h is nothing but 00 so 00h will be stored in accumulator and higher order byte is 32h that will be stored in b register so this was sixth uh, instruction from arithmetic group we will see the next one next instruction is div a B. So, this is nothing but divide. This divides the unsigned number in accumulator by unsigned number in B register. So, accumulator will hold quotient and B will uh, the B register will hold remainder. We will see the example of it. If A is FBH, accumulator is having value FBH and B register is holding value 12H. If I will execute the instruction division A B, then A will hold the value which is quotient, which is 13 in decimal, but 0 dh in hexadecimal and b will hold the value of remainder that is 17 in decimal, which is 11h in 11h, which will be nothing but remainder. Next instruction we will see is daa, that is decimal adjust of the accumulator. The instruction adjusts the sum of two BCD pack numbers to 8 bit value. To perform addition, any add or add C instruction can be used. So, there are two rules. Uh, the first one is if number is greater than 9, you will have to add 6 to it. If accumulator or auxiliary carry or carry is generated, again you will have to add 6 to it. So, we will see the example of it. Say, suppose accumulator is holding value 56H and R3 is the register which will hold the value 67H and carry flag is nothing but 1. Then add C A comma R3 will do what? It will actually add the contents of R3 plus carry flag plus accumulator and all the result will be stored in accumulator. So A is 56H, then R3 is 67H plus carry flag is equal to 1, answer is BEH. Now if I will uh, execute this instruction, what will happen? If B is greater than 9 and E is also greater than 9, so we will have to add 6 to, to both. So, to B I, I am adding 6 and to E I am adding 6. So, it will become 24 with carry flag is equal to 1. Next instruction is SUBB, subtract with borrow. This subtract uh, subtracts the indicated byte variable and carry flag contents together from the accumulator and result is stored in the accumulator. So, the operation is like this. A is equal to A minus source byte minus carry flag. So, it is again having four types of uh, combinations. So, I have already explained how does it work. Thank you.